Hi everyone. Hi there. Jeff and Sarah, the Olivers, and we are at the fantastic Knoll Country House in Kent. We're going to put a map up and show you exactly where that is. So this place is a real hidden gem. Um, you've got exclusive use, which is great. You, you're completely private for you and your guests. You've got the run of the whole place. Um, outside, you've got to stick around to the end to see this. There's a secret, and we mean a secret, secret garden. Secret locked. Secret garden. locked garden. <laughs> so no one else can go there. Only the bride and the groom, the photographers, you can get some fantastic pictures there. Um, do make sure you stick around to see that. Also, uh, if you're enjoying what, what you're seeing here and you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ring the bell, then you're going to get notified when we upload more videos and we're going to keep this coming uh, as a regular thing. So, so do hit that subscribe button. Um, Sarah's going to give you the show round, so she's going to do the tour. Um, and like I say, we're, we're going to start off, where are we going to start, Sarah? Start the front gate where you come in. So, shall we do it? Let's do it. Let's get there. So we're going to start our tour today of the Knoll Country House, right outside the main gates. Um, so come with me and we'll get into it. So the venue here has got absolutely beautiful gardens and you'll see that as soon as you come in through the main gate. Once you're through the main gate, it opens up ahead of you. There's a car park down the far end for all your guests to park. So you see, as you come down here um, towards the main house, the gardens open up. This topiary is beautiful. It's always kept trimmed really nice and neat and tidy. So it's really nice no matter what time of year. The flower beds are replanted throughout the year, so you get different colour flowers in your photos depending on the season. So no matter what time of year, you know the gardens are always going to look really beautiful. So head on down to the main house and we can get this tour really underway. So I'm just going to pause here for a moment right outside um, the main house. As you can see, it is really beautiful. Um, got a lot of history here as well. Um, so it's a really lovely venue for you to have, have your wedding. Where I'm standing right now is um, where your wedding car would pull up if you have um, got married, at, like say, at a church. Um, and so you'd be able to have photos of your car here outside um, the main door of the house, which again is really nice. Even your, your guests can kind of wait out here with a drink to welcome you into your venue. So before we go inside, we're going to show you some of the gardens out the front. The gardens kind of wrap around um, the house. So it's really nice to be able to see the front side while we're here. And then, but hang on, because you're going to want to see the back gardens as well, because they are absolutely stunning. And also before we continue, um, put in the comments if there's anything that on our tours you like to see or you like to know about, and we'll make sure we include that in future tours. Um, so yeah, head this way around the front. So you see, as you come past the main house, the gardens open up on the side. And from here, you've got absolutely fantastic view of the River Thames, so out over the fields, and then the Thames is there. Uh, we've also photographed some really beautiful sunsets out in that direction as well. So a great spot for your evening photos. So we've come down now to the lower terrace um, of the front garden and as you can see it's beautiful gardens again, all the topiaries here and these steps I'm standing on are a really nice little spot for a couple photographs where the two of you can stand and it takes in the whole house behind you. So yeah, great little spot for photos right here. So we're back now at the front of the venue by the front door and ready to go inside and really start our tour inside. Um, I hope you enjoy the little tour of the front gardens. Like I say, there's more to come when you see the, the back gardens. Um, but let us know in the comments what you're thinking so far. And come on inside and I'll show you inside the venue. Got your wood store here. And welcome inside. So as you come into um, Noel Country House, you're greeted by this lovely hallway, old chandeliers. It's kind of, it's, it's got that grand feeling to it. And you'll see off of the hallway, there's lots of artwork and all the artwork here is original, um, which is really lovely touch of the venue. Um, kind of, like I mentioned earlier about the, the historical side, so you kind of get that element there. So I'm gonna take my coat off, make myself comfortable, and then we'll continue the tour and show you all the different rooms. So here we are, I've jacket off, nicely warmed up, got another beautiful fire to warm up by. And this fire is actually um, newly refurbished, new addition, so it's looking lovely. And it just really sets off this um, hallway area. So whether it's just about welcoming your guests into a nice inviting venue or actually having photos in here, you've got a lovely space. Different doors leading um, off the hallway. Um, 
gonna have a quick look in this room um, first of all. It's a room that you may or may not use too much on your wedding day, but it's nice to know what's here. Again, nice new floor, um, but it's a room that is either nice for you to have a few photos in, just the two of you, or quite often you might have your registrar interview in here before your ceremony. Could even be a place for a photo booth um, or that sort of thing. So yeah, it's just a nice little room to know you've got um, that to use. Coming on out here, you know, we're going to do things in a slightly different order here today and we're actually we're going to show you the room where you sit down for your wedding breakfast right at the start, um, just because of the location of it being off the hallway. So when we take you in through this door, um, this is the room where you can sit down for your wedding breakfast. And notice that all of the door handles around here, again, all recently been replaced so it's looking new and bright and gleamy, um, but yeah, all these crystal door handles are beautiful. Come on in through here. And this is the room where you'd have your wedding breakfast. And it truly is a stunning room. All dressed today for the occasion. Um, and you can get the idea of what it would look like actually on your wedding day, seated, ready to be seated for all your guests. And if you come over here in the window, this is where your cake would stand, so nice feature in the window. All your guests as they come into dinner can see your cake. Lovely spot for you to do your old cake cup picture. Um, another key feature of this venue, um, the giveaway is the dessert trolleys on either side of the room. I don't know if you can see those. But the dessert here is absolutely key. The, the trolleys are wheeled round and um, guests get to pick their favourite desserts from, from the trolley and it's absolutely, it's, it's the one thing that everyone talks about. So if it was me, I would definitely have to have maybe chocolate brownie or a chocolate cake on there. Jeff, what would you happen? What would you have? Cheesecake for me. So cheesecake, yep, can't go wrong with a classic cheesecake. Um, let us know what dessert you would definitely have to have um, on your dessert trolley in the comments below. See if we get a little dessert poll going on here. Um, but yeah, so the, what we can't tell you, show you on video, or what I can tell you about, is how good the food is here. So we've been lucky enough to sample it ourselves and the food is fantastic. So yeah, we're, worth coming here for the food alone. <laughs> So we'll just wander the full length of the room just so you really appreciate the kind of the length of the room, how big it is and, and the view that all of your guests will have. Actually one thing that's really lovely is no matter where in this room your guests are seated, even though it's a long room, they can still see you on your top table and you can still see them. There's no sort of hiding around corners, you've got a good view of everybody um, from that top table and vice versa. So here you can see the view from the top table, you can see up and down the room and you can see all of your guests um, enjoying their meal. Perfect for the speeches when you're here and everyone on the top table is doing their speeches. Um, everyone can see what's going on um, and you can see everyone's reactions back. So yeah, great spot for the top table. So just before we leave this um, room, uh, your wedding breakfast room, just want to show you this little corner because quite often little um, spots of venues can be overlooked we've taken some really lovely bridal portraits in this window so it's just worth noting that if it's a bad weather day there's lots of little elements and little, lots of little places where you can get some fantastic photos that you might not necessarily think of when you first see it. So back out in the main hall now and now's the time to show you where you'd be getting ready so where you'd be starting your wedding day preparations. Like I say we've done this a little bit backwards but because the doors to the wedding breakfast room were there it made sense to show you. Um, but come this way and we'll show you where your day will start. And here we are in this beautiful spacious room and the best thing about this room and all getting ready rooms, big big window. You need a big window so you get lots of natural light so when your hair and makeup's being done it's going to look perfect because it's been done in natural light and not with little down lights so yeah this big window is absolutely perfect. So if hair and makeup's being done the makeup artist can see exactly what they're doing and make sure it's perfect. So just coming out of um, the, your getting ready room and walking down here and then obviously you've got your toilet in there so if you do need to go to the toilet before you put your dress on you've got your facilities there and then this is the way you're then going to walk to your wedding ceremony. So retracing your steps back down the stairs, let's go get married. Back into the main hallway and then we're following around this way this time. So on the way, gents and ladies toilets um, for later in the day. 
situated here. I'm going to come back and show you that little bar area in the meantime. But come this way and into the indoor ceremony area. And it's laid out for quite a small ceremony today, but it gives you the idea of what it looks like. And I think it looks so, so pretty. Um, I love all the fairy lights. It gives it a really nice, bright and airy feel to it. So this is, you walk down your aisle and here you come together at the top of the aisle. It's your registrar's table there. Photographer can stand in the corners behind the table. And here you are exchanging your vows in front of your guests. Like I say, it's really light and airy. Um, and you get a glimpse of the outside, but it's quite cosy at the same time. So yeah, it's a really, really lovely um, indoor ceremony room. If the weather's not so good outside or you've decided for an indoor ceremony as opposed to outdoors. We're gonna to get to the outdoor ceremony area soon, so hang on for that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's really, really pretty. And like I say, love the details of the fairy lights running all the way through. So turning back around and coming back down your aisle after your ceremony, um, you bring yourself back along here and you wanna get yourself a drink so nice little place to go, the bar to have you start your drinks reception. So this bar is kind of a nice evening bar really. Um, but it's a lovely little kind of snug and cosy area. We've taken some really actually um, moody um, photos in here with the, the red lights and it kind of really atmospheric. But yeah, it's a nice little place where people can get a drink. So now you have to kind of Fast forward during your wedding day and imagine that you've reached the evening and the ceremony area that we were just in has now been totally and utterly transformed. Your DJ's in there and that's where your evening um, disco party is. So the bar being here right next door is ideal for that. But as we always say, what's better than one bar? Two bars. <laughs> so bringing ourselves back through here. It's kind of like your daytime and your nighttime bar. <laughs> It, it just means you've got lots of bar space. So coming back through here, day or night time, out into your conservatory, where you've got a fantastic big bar. And this is a nice place to spend your drinks reception. If the weather's not so good outside, you've got a lot more room. Um, it's light, nice and light and airy as well. So yeah, people can kind of just chill as well. If you're partying in there with your DJ, People can just nip in here and have a little bit of a sit down, grab a drink at the bar, but they're still right on top of your dance floor. So as soon as a good tune starts playing, they're straight back on the dance floor. They haven't disappeared off to another part of the venue. So yeah, it's really lovely to have these two interconnecting rooms for your evening dancing. So we spoke about your day guests can be up to 98 people, but for your evening, you can have an additional 72 um, for like, for like your, your dancing because you haven't got to sit down. Um, so yeah, in the evening, you can have all your guests come and enjoy this area with you. So yeah, now we've shown you all of the inside um, bits of the venue. It's time to show you actually some of our favourite bits and go outside and check out this outside space. Once I've got my jacket on. <laughs> so now coming outside um, to the outside ceremony area and this beautiful um, freshly laid patio. This was new um, only in recent years and it really has made a difference to the outside area here. So you've got a nice place for your guests to stand. So. As you come out here, you can see the ceremony area there, and this is where you'll be coming to have your outside ceremony. So let's go and have a closer look. So this is the way you'd walk for your outside ceremony um, with your bridesmaids potentially going in front of you, and then you and your, your dad or whoever's giving you away coming this way. And what is really nice is the Knoll uh, always spending money on improvements and making things better. So brand new for this year is this paved path that we're about to walk on. So when you walk down your aisle, you haven't got to worry about your heels and dimples in the grass. You've got a nice, um, freshly paved path to walk down. Imagine all your guests sitting along here and you're walking up towards the gazebo. And it's beautiful walled gardens all around you. Um, hear the birds tweeting. So yeah, really pretty place to have your outside ceremony. So this is where you'll see each other for the first time on your wedding day. You'd come together on this spot and then the two of you would come up the steps into the gazebo with your registrars and this is where you're going to stand and take your vows in front of all your guests out there. So yeah, it's a really lovely spot. Your photographer can stand in here with you. If you've got two photographers, another one can be down the end of the aisle shooting at the two of you facing each other, taking your vows. So yeah, I'd say really, really pretty spot to have your outside wedding ceremony. So after your ceremony is over, you're going to walk back down the aisle with all your guests clapping and cheering and congratulating you. 
um, and then you're going to come back up here and all your guests can follow you and then you can have your drinks reception out on this beautiful outdoor patio that we're just going to get to in a second. So there's lovely um, seating here so people can sit and relax or congratulate you on your wedding day. Come here and we'll have a look at this beautiful patio which is the perfect spot for your drinks reception. You've got your summer house here as well, which is, is a really nice little feature. Um, not, not very venues have their own summer house, so it's kind of quite, something quite unique to here actually. Um, makes a nice spot for photos, for people to sit and chill out. In the evening quite often, people will have photo booth in there, so it's a nice little spot um, to come and have some photos taken. We'll have a closer look in there in a second. But while we're out here, I want to um, show you another area that is key to having your big group photo taken. So after your ceremony, while all your guests are out here mingling, we've got a bit of a captive audience. So we'll get all your guests together and take a group shot just on the grass through here. But there's a window up there that your photographer can stand in and shoot down. So you're going to get all your guests in the grass with the grass gardens behind you. But you can still be able to see everybody because you're shooting down from the window. So yeah, great spot for your, your group photo. So we're back in the garden. Sorry if we're jumping about a little bit. There's just so many elements of this venue that we really want to um, show you. So it meant we've had to go this way and that way. But we're back in the main outdoor ceremony area there. The gazebo is just over here. But if you follow this path, I'm going to show you a little area that might not look much at the moment, but it's going to be worked on um, this year. So before it opens back up to weddings, this will be a lovely little snug area. So if you come through here and you've got to imagine this is all going to be redone so it's going to have new floor all fairy lights so it's going to be a nice like kind of little little quiet corner and yeah it's going to be called the snug so you've got to use a little bit of imagination um, but we will try and come back um, once it's all done um, and we can give you a little bit of an update on that but yeah just imagine what this is going to look like so another little element of this um, fantastic venue so coming into the summer house you can see that this is a really pretty area Kind of a real chill zone um, with your little sofas all around your guests can come and um, take a bit of a chill have a break you can have photos in there with your groom's party so yeah it's a really lovely little spot and it's got that real woody smell as well which is really nice so coming from the summer house we're going to walk back through into the gardens and the gardens are a lovely spot for photographs um, of you and your guests and also um, you as a couple as well the walled garden has some really nice seats around so they're nice little spots but We've hinted at it all the way through this, that there's one spot in this venue that is kind of a little bit reserved for the bride and groom. It's not generally where your guests go. Um, through the secret gate, the locked gate. So we're gonna walk you there now and then um, show you that little spot. So there's a reason that um, this gate stays locked. Um, there's some deep water in here, so it's not advisable to keep it open so um, any of your guests or children particularly um, will end up there. But it's nice that it keeps it a little bit special just for the bride and groom to go and enjoy this area. So come on through. <laughs> it's not that open. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look like any of them fit in there. I had the key. So follow me through this way. And behind the walled garden, this whole area just opens up um, in front of you. Now, I don't know what you call this because it's too big to be a pond, but possibly a small lake. But this is a lovely spot just to come for the two of you to enjoy just having a little bit of time together, just the two of you, and also to have some really beautiful photos taken. So throughout the year, this all changes. The willow tree, when it's all in bloom with its um, cascading green leaves, looks amazing. All reeds grow up around here, really creating a bit of an oasis. So it's nice to have pictures around the edge of the lake and also get some good reflections. So yeah, it's a really little, nice little spot. Probably the best way to kind of you to imagine it at different times of the year is for us to show you a few photos so you get a better idea. But we'll have a little bit of a wander around um, and you can really kind of take it in. It's the sort of place you have to actually come and see yourself to appreciate how beautiful this is. And imagine we're in February now, so no leaves on the trees, but imagine what this is like in the height of the summer. So a really lovely little spot for photographs is the couple coming and standing up here and they're having a little bit of a moment together, just the two of you. Your photographer's miles away over the other side of the lake, can't hear what you're saying, 
um, so you can just enjoy yourselves, have a little bit of a kiss and a cuddle and get some really lovely photos. So hopefully you can see as I walk along here that I'm getting some really nice reflections of me. So again, another nice spot for your photographer to be the other side of the lake, just the two of you kind of on your own, but you can get some really lovely photos um, with the nice reflections going on. And as you follow the lake all the way around here, it brings you around to the orchard. And you've got to imagine this place in the summer when all the trees are in leaf and the grass is really long. And at sunset, this is a really lovely time to come for photos. So just coming back from the little pond area and you kind of thought that that was it and you'd seen all there was to see, but we've got one more thing we want to show you, or maybe two more things. So coming through here, this is a little known part of the venue that even we hadn't seen before. So Jeff, have we ever seen this? Do you know where I've we... I've seen this, I have no idea where we've done. <laughs> even Jeff's going to be a random. surprise, yeah. So come on through here. So through here, we come into a little courtyard. And this is the old coach house area. But if you come through here, through this gate, we have a little secret garden. And this is definitely reserved just for the couple. So you come through here, and I'm told that this used to be the vegetable garden. But in here, it's like a little oasis. You've got more beautiful gardens. But you've also got a beautiful pond in here. If you come through. Imagine actually the day after your um, wedding, having your breakfast out here and just sitting with the koi carp pond. It's a really pretty little area. And yeah, no, nobody else knows this is here. And if you turn back this way, Jeff, and look up at the window there, that's the window to your bridal suite. So you can look out, have your breakfast on the balcony or breakfast out here. But yeah, how nice is that? Just to have a quiet morning coffee. Jeff, there's a pond behind you if you're walking backwards. <laughs> that could really make an entertaining video, but not the video we were after. <laughs> so yeah, so one last thing to show you um, where we'll wrap this tour up is actually in um, the coach house, which is um, the bridal suite for the night. So, welcome to your bridal suite. Come on in. So coming up into the bridal suite, come up into this um, little lounge area first of all. So Jack can just do a quick pan around here. Which way to go, <laughs> left or right? Come this way first. So from your little lounge area, you come through to this first bedroom. Which you may or may not have anyone stay in there. But this is the bedroom you want, really want to see. So this is the, the bridal suite bedroom. Nice big bed for your wedding night. I'm not going to go into any more details. <laughs> and then the window here is the double doors that open to take you out onto the little veranda that we saw from the garden outside. So pre, prior to the new getting ready room, quite often brides would get ready here. Um, but now you don't need to do that because you've got a dedicated room for that. Um, but it just means that this is nice. This is kept for your wedding night um, and you don't actually come back here until you're a married couple. So we'll just come back through and show you the final last little bits. Just following me. Back through the little lounge. And obviously, you need a bathroom, so you've got a bathroom through there. And then just a little kitchenette area so you can make yourself tea and coffee um, and just sort yourself out. So here we are back in the little lounge area, um, and this is where we're going to end our tour. So I hope you've enjoyed um, our tour of the Knoll Country House, um, affectionately known as the Knoll. Um, and I hope we've kind of covered all the little bits that you wanted to see and it's been helpful on your venue hunting journey. Um, as always, please give us comments to let us know if we're hitting all the right spots or we're not giving you enough information, we're giving you too much information. And of course, if you want to see more, um, then please do subscribe. Um, we're going to put a little bell somewhere um, so you can um, subscribe. We're also, as per tradition that we've started, going to put a little video of photos we've taken at weddings here just so you can see what it is like on a, on a wedding day. Um, but yeah, thank you again for sticking with us to the end and um, we'll see you again for another video soon. Bye.